afternoon and welcome to 3 Talk. You never know when you might find yourself on the wrong side of the law or when you may need a lawyer. You may have found yourself in a situation where the legal lines are slightly blurred and you're not sure where to turn. This afternoon we have the experts in studio to answer all the legal questions you may be grappling with. Should you need legal advice, call us on 86 3303 Please welcome Labour lawyer Kareem Basson. Thanks so much, Kareem, for joining Hello, us. Lady. In terms of Labour law, what are the kind of the most common cases that you have to deal with? Um, Nadine, I would say unfair dismissals. And at this point in time, with the current economic climate, definitely retrenchments. If I'm re I've, what are my rights when I'm retrenched? Basically, um, a retrenchment needs to be firstly um, substantially fair. In mm. other words, an employer needs to have a fair reason to retrench you. Yeah. And secondly, the employer needs to follow a fair procedure, mm -hmm. um, which is quite complex. But in a nutshell, the employer needs to advise you as soon as he's contemplating possible retrenchments. Mm -hmm. That needs to be done in writing. And basically, the em employer then needs to en engage in a joint consensus-seeking process mm -hmm. with you as an employee, where you discuss things like, once again, the reasons for the retrenchments, mm -hmm. mm -hmm. selection criteria used to select the employees to be retrenched. Mm -hmm. So Possible I have a right to ask, why me? Definitely, and that's why our labour legislation specifically makes provision for this to be a joint consensus-seeking process. Mm -hmm. So the employee does have the right to ask the necessary questions and to be fully informed before he's being retrenched. Are there times where you find that a client comes to you because they believe that they've been unfairly retrenched? Oh yes, definitely. Unfortunately, many employers use the retrenchment process as an opportunity to basically get rid of employees that aren't performing or that has committed misconduct or whatever the case ah. might be. And actually retrenchments are no-fault dismissals. Okay. So performance cannot play a role. Misconduct cannot play a role. Yeah. Retrenchments are purely based on operational requirements. Yeah. Yeah. In other words, um, financial reasons, restructuring or other operational requirements. So if I have been, let's say, I believe I have been unfairly dismissed, where do, what's my first point of call? Your first point of call would be to go to the CCMA, the, Con the Commission for Conciliation, Mediation and Arbitration. Um, there you will follow a two-fold process. Um, the first step in this process is conciliation. And conciliation is basically an off-the-record meeting between the employer, the aggrieved employee and an arbitrator from the CCMA. Mm -hmm. And in this meeting, the arbitrator will try and settle this matter amicably, mm -hmm. whether it's financially or by re-employing the individual or whatever the case might be. Mm -hmm. If the matter cannot be settled in conciliation, the matter then moves, f moves to arbitration, which is almost like a court case. Okay. Um, both parties will present their case to an arbitrator. Um, they'll call witnesses. They'll present all relevant evidence, and the arbitrator will then make a finding of uh, on whether mm. the dismissal was fair or not. All right, let's go to the lines. So Joanne in Joburg, hi, welcome. Hello, Nolene. Yes, hi, um, Jo. I, I've got a bit of an issue. I've been retrenched from my company. I've been there for eight years, and I've been a top performer in my department for all eight years. Mm -hmm. There are young people who've been brought into the company um, as, 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 you know, as late as the last couple of months, and I'm being retrenched. Mm -hmm. And I'm not sure what my rights are. Surely, you know, with the performance that I've given and all that, surely I should, mm -hmm. be, I should be having, I should have some rights. Yeah. Almost like first in, first out, not, uh, you yes. know, or last in, last out. Absolutely, and there are people who are less qualified than me, who know the, the company less than I am, and they are there, and I'm being pushed out. Mm, mm. I think it, it feels like to me it's, 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 they're getting cheaper labor in, and because I've been there longer, I'm able to ask for increases and that sort of thing, and they, they're now pushing me out. All right, Joanne, let's leave it there. Let's see what Kareen says. Thank you very much. Where can she go? What can she do? Basically, um, when an employer decides to retrench employees, as I've said, they need to use a fair selection criteria to, to decide who gets affected by it. Um, if I listen to what you're saying, it seems as if they, they are acting unfairly because at the end of the day, if the people were employed after you and you apply the selection...